Okay, now we're going to start the unlocking of the bootloader process. Now, if you've seen my other videos, and I'll have a link to that, you would know that it usually takes two weeks to go ahead and unlock the bootloader or to get permission to unlock the bootloader of your device from Xiaomi. Now, to go ahead and begin this actual process, after that wait period is over, you're going to want to enable USB debugging and then restart your device into fast boot mode. You can do that by restarting the device and holding the power down as well as the volume down key and it should restart into fast boot mode. Once the device is in fast boot mode, go ahead and insert the USB cable into the computer, log on to the Xiaomi Mi Unlocker tool and proceed to unlock your bootloader. It is worth noting that if you have successfully started this process, you should have all of the necessary drivers and things in place to go ahead and uh, enable you to sideload or to flash the TWRP recovery. Hi, my name is Mitchell. Before we continue talking about how to load on a custom ROM onto your K20 Pro, I want to thank everyone that uses my affiliate links. Without your support, I couldn't keep this channel going. Also, I have written content coming up all the time on my website. I'll probably have a written tutorial of how to do this in the description down below. Go ahead and check that out. Also, big shout out to the Redmi K20 Pro Telegram community as well as my Telegram community. Links for both of those places down in the description. Okay, enough talking, let's just hop into this. One step that I forgot to add uh, in this video is once you have unlocked your bootloader, it is very important that you go ahead and you set up the device again and choose to have a pin for the password of the device. Set the pin to whatever you want. It can be 000, but you need to remember this pin. You're going to want to restart the device again and put it in fast boot mode. Go ahead and download the flash TWRP or the auto flash TWRP uh, file that is located on XDA developers. You're going to want to extract this into the same file directory that you already have for the me unlocking device just to make sure this all happens pretty seamlessly. Once you have that file uh, extracted, go ahead and hit the flash TWRP recovery uh, Windows uh, batch file and you should have TWRP recovery flashed and uh, on your device. From this point moving forward, download whatever ROM you want and paste it onto the internal storage of your Redmi K20 Pro. You are going to have to uh, decrypt every time you want to go into TWRP. Uh, it's going to be whatever pin you have set up on your phone. So make sure that you do set up the uh, pin and when you do unlock the bootloader, you go through the setup process again, just so that you can have the pin available to decrypt the data uh, when you start. Once you have the ROM copied onto the internal storage of the Redmi K20 Pro, locate that ROM, install it, and you are home free. I hope that tutorial was helpful for you guys. I hope that you're running uh, whatever custom ROM you want to. If you guys want to go ahead and start seeing some of my ROM reviews, go ahead and click or tap the playlist right over here to check those out. If you guys want to go ahead and look at some of my other content, maybe about the Poco F1 or uh, the Xiaomi Mi 9, go ahead and click or tap right here. If you want to make sure that you get all of my newest videos, go ahead and click that subscribe button right here by my nose. You guys want to be notified every time I post content, you guys know what to do. Okay, till next time, it's been Mitchell coming to you all from Hanoi. See you soon.